it's very important to make sure that we connect people's struggles with each other. It's not exactly always the same, but there are a lot of parents who are in it together. So today we are really honored to have been invited to be part of the 8th Annual American Indian Film Festival and to celebrate the 50th anniversary of the American Indian Movement that has a whole long, long connection with the Palestinians as Tony will tell you, Madonna, a whole bunch of other sisters and brothers, Dennis Banks, who passed and presented. Many people have had the connections and Palestinians have had the connections as well. The two films that you will see, the first one, I'm going to introduce them both at the same time, or we one after the other. The show at first. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know. Okay. Yeah. So uh, let me do them both at the same time. So, okay. this oh. so the first film is going to be about Ahed Tamimi. Ahed Tamimi is a young Palestinian woman. She was 17 years old when uh, she comes from a village called Nabi Saleh, a little Palestinian village. Nabi Saleh is known for being one of the strongest sites of resistance in Palestine. And they have given 22 martyrs. Uh, many people have been imprisoned, including her father, her, her mother, her aunt was killed, her brother, her uncle, her cousin, everybody, I mean, the whole, the whole village has been attacked and again and again and again because they engage in what we call popular resistance, trying to prevent the Israeli settlers, colonists, from taking their land. I mean, that's what they do. They, have, they organize demonstrations, and they prevent the settlers from coming, and the settlers come, and they attack them again and again, and the Israeli army, of course, colonizes the army. So I had the meaning. Uh, what, last year, she was in her house, and then Israeli soldiers came, and one of the soldiers came to her house, tried to push her, and she slapped him. And we will have a discussion. We, we should have a discussion about this because of the way also, fact, fact, this is really important. This, is, this was really an example. And then she and her mother, because her mother too is a videographer of the revolution. So her mother is always going around with a video documenting everything that is going on. So two, mother and daughter, were both arrested, were both brought to prison. When we were in Palestine in March, and we were going to try to visit them, so their father, the father, Basim, told us, you can't come today because we wanted to go to trial, actually, because the Israelis made the trial close. So we couldn't go, and then the next day, that they were sentenced, the mother and the daughter were sentenced to eight months in prison. And they spent time in prison together. And they were just released. Now, they were invited to go to many places. Every time they get invited, the Israelis try to prevent them from going. Sometimes international pressure allowed them. They were just in France. Uh, I think last two weeks ago, they were in uh, Spain. They were honored by Real Madrid. I mean, that's not, a, and it's also a signal that the whole world, supports question for justice in for Palestine. The fact that people here in this country think that the people from Washington or Indonesia or the Zionists out there that are trying to silence us actually is the dominant view is not true. That is not really what the reality is. And so it's really important but also to understand what exactly is going on. So we're going to watch Ahed Tamim. It's a short film. And then and it's, a, it's, a, it's a documentary that made by Telesur. And then the next one, and made by this woman, Abby Martin, is actually quite good. She's been following her interviewing. And so she's not one of the journalists who just caught a glimpse of the sexy story and jumped on it. She's actually somebody who's been doing this for quite a long time, which also raises issues about, you know, we're in it for a long term. We're not in it just because things get to be sexy and we just jump and then we forget about that. The second film is going to be called uh, Dreams of Frontiers and Fears. And this is a film that was made by a Palestinian filmmaker. Uh, May Masri. It's a film of uh, two groups of Palestinian children. One group comes from the Dehesha refugee camp on the West Bank near Beit Lahab. And the second one comes from Shatila refugee camp in Beirut, the site of one of the most vicious massacres. We marked the anniversary of the last week. And the two, the two uh, groups of children are able, they're organizing and they're able to meet at the border. Because in 2000, May 2000, Southern Lebanon was liberated from Israeli occupation. And that made it possible for these group of Palestinians to meet. From it. And I don't want to say more, but the reason we put them all together is because it gives you some glimpse from <coughs> Palestinians from the village, from different refugee camps, from exile. We're not able to cover everywhere, everything, but maybe next year we can do more films. And we also invite you to come and to our open classroom at San Francisco State. We do tomorrow, we're going to have a big discussion about the Spanish Civil War and about 1936, 39 Palestinian uh, revolution. 
the, on Wednesday we're going to be talking about 68 and the Palestinian movement. So we're always having things. Check us out, Ahmed at the, at Facebook at SFS on Facebook. This is going to be streamed live, not the films, but the discussion only. We want everybody to be able to learn inside and outside of the classroom. We want to bring our communities all together, everybody to co-learn, to co-create, to change the world. Thank you. Wow.